I placed an order on uh, OLX for a tarpaulin sheet, a huge tarpaulin sheet that I'd bought a few years back for some reason and I didn't want to use it and I said, I didn't I said I want to sell it. I put, it, uh, I put an ad on uh, OLX and uh, I received a call from a guy. I got a few calls but the right guy I got a call from who was ready to pay the price I wanted. And he said, uh, and he came home to pick it up. And uh, I was just curious, so I asked him, why do you to buy Because I had uh, bought it to cover a shed of, you know, for some animals uh, in the rains. And I just was wondering, probably he's also an animal lover and probably he wanted it for the same reason. You know what he told me? He said, He's going to go into Are Hills, the Are Forest, and there he's going to put up bricks on two sides or three sides of in a particular area. And on those bricks, he's going to put up this tarpaulin. I said, Why? And he said that I am going to, you know, what is that called? Occupy that land. I'm going to grab it. Uh, because there's no, there's nobody there. I'm going to bribe the forest officials and at times when the police comes and because in future years, this place is going to be taken over by humans anyways. This whole area where I'm living right now, which is Goregon West, it used to be forests, you know, and this has been going on and on and on deeper and deeper and now only we have is the Ara Hills left and this guy openly was telling me that he's going to do this in this city of Mumbai. What, what does it mean that he has, if this one guy has the guts and the information of going about this openly, what does it mean? It means that there must be several hundreds and thousands of people who have already done it and who are planning to do it. <clears throat> Let me come back to the main subject. There was a time in this very city in Mumbai, my grandfather used to tell me that cutting one branch of a tree, we were afraid that, you know, we'll be, got, we'll be caught. Because every tree was marked. The police on the rounds used to keep an eye on them. The forest and the environment ministry officials used to keep an eye on them. So it wasn't easy at all. Do you even think about destroying or damaging or harming a tree? Even a branch, as he used to tell me. Today we are seeing that trees are chopped branches. Forget about branches. Trees are chopped in hordes, in lines, on, in, on every, every street, every monsoon. And it's done openly. You know why? Because they are saying that these trees, they have, they hold birds which make their nests and they do the droppings over the cars which are put up uh, which are parked uh, on on the on the uh, on the next to the footpath and it's you know it's 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 uh, stopping sunlight and this and that and whatever stupid jack shit reasons they give us they do this every Monsoon, beginning of every monsoon. And this is not just done here in Mumbai, it's done throughout India. I've, done, I've seen it happening in many other places uh, as well, apart from India. You know, trees, what all they give us? I mean, I just want, I just want to keep this video very short. And I want you all to know, I mean, whoever is watching this, the trees are a lifeline, not only for us humans, but for so many other species who live here on inside the trees, like the moths, the insects, the birds, as we know. It, they, the trees hold water. They attract rainfall. They control floods. They keep the soil clean. They, they give us oxygen. I mean, if they keep the environment cool, they keep this planet Earth where we are living cool, but nobody wants to understand that. They just want to grab the land. The governments, they want to grab the lands. They don't care. They're giving away the lands of the forests and no-go zones to the industries, industrialists. Why? Because they fund them in their elections. They give huge donations. 
they are actually feeding these political parties who are in or out of power. Whether they are in or out doesn't matter because they know the other one is going to come in power anyway someday. So, hota ye hai ke we are losing out on our precious land anyway due to the natural disasters. What is happening in California today? What happened in Australia? What is happening in Amazon? We are, we are losing a natural habitat. It is just not that the animals need it. Animals are a very important part of this planet. First of all, let's understand this. And they dwell in the forest, no doubt. But this is also needed for us. This is the biodiversity. This is the ecosystem that we need to survive. And for us, future generations, we need it for them. And when are we going to understand this? My request is for all of you to understand and please pass it on to everybody. This small fig or branch that you chop off had a big future for your generations, for your kids, for your current family, for yourself. Because this controls the floods, the natural disasters, the heavy rainfalls, the climate change, the global warming, all these things. I can't explain you everything here in one video. You can definitely Google it up or check other videos from other people. Even probably I might do it someday on this. But I don't want to go into details. But these things are happening because we are chopping off that one branch, that one fig, that one tree, just because it is obstructing the view of your house or your gate or your building or something else or it was coming in your, your, your road or something, please don't do that. This is harming our future generations. We are already in a bad shape as, as far as the ozone layer is concerned, as far as the global warming is concerned, as far as the... Let's not go into big things. Just look at what is happening about the rainfall. The rainfall is unbalanced. Why is this happening? If you see, now we have Google Maps and we have the live Google Maps and everything. If you see how the forest and the green cover is depleting and that's the reason why the disbalance has happened in the rainfalls. Please, I request you, wake up. Wake up before it's late. If you have any questions on this or if you have any thing that you haven't understood of what I've just said, please get back to me. I'll try my best to revert to as many people as possible. Thank you. See you next time.